What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, not much has really happened from yesterday, from yesterday's video here. We have yet again consolidated within XRP, seeing another day of literal flatline movement with zero volume, completely tanking the volume charts here, dying down, which typically does result in some sort of big movement. You can see here, for the most part, volume died down. You can see died down here, and then we did see the surge in volume again, which caused the markets to dip lower. And that's kind of the same thing that we're looking for now after seeing volume die, dive down again. We are looking for a surge in volume, which will most likely result in a bullish or bearish drop which we kind of have our theories on which way it's going to be moving to. But for the most part here, we are yet again in another consolidative market, consolidative movement here. And typically we don't see much movements happen over the weekend. After Friday, Saturday, Sunday, not really, not really much happens, honestly, here because the stock market is closed. Now, besides XRP, we are going to be looking at Ethereum, which should have a nice little bull trap yesterday. Beautiful little run to the upside here, immediately reverse back down. As you know, we have been talking about the fact that if we confirm closure above this major resistance, here, then that would buy us in, and then we'd leverage to probably 2133. Now, you know, fortunately and unfortunately, I was not, uh, you know, aware of the market closure last uh, two nights ago here, which closed us above, and I'm glad I wasn't because we immediately reversed back down into support here. Even if um, some people did take advantage of that with a stop loss here, you would have just slightly you know, uh, lost maybe a little bit here. But ideally, my thought is even if you did, the next breakout typically re results in a pretty solid run to the upside, which is what we're looking for here. Same thing goes with Bitcoin, which is now sliding us lower and lower and lower here, uh, slowly pulling us down to the downside here. But we did have yet again another bull trap uh, retesting this major or major or small resistance in that sense there. And then we also have on the S&P 500 what appears to be some sort of little double bottom, which could result in prices moving us higher which would be interesting um, and definitely isn't something that is, you know, like a shocking discovery here because this could considerably be the higher low formation here. Yeah, we didn't dip below the moving average and find a newer low because we definitely could have headed lower, um, but it's very possible that could be it. We could, you know, head up higher from there. So I am excited to see what goes on with that. But um, obviously, or hopefully some of you guys are aware of this. If not, definitely make sure to check out BidFi, which is the number one cryptocurrency exchange I like to use here on the channel. I have partnered with them Finally, after years of using them, they reached out. And what we're doing is a free bonus giveaway. If you want to earn a free $100, all you have to do is deposit $100. That's simple. Link is down in the description below. Follow these three steps and you'll literally get deposited a free $100 of uh, bonus crypto in your wallet to trade around with or to use for fees, which is really cool. Um, so with that all being said, though, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, super quick before we dive into the technical analysis, just wanted to update you guys um, for those. I don't know I did start a second channel super quickly here just you know taking you know advantage of the bear market that we had here I started a second channel to play around with making videos on you know other things that I do enjoy here talking about finance and stuff like that the stock market so on and so forth which has slowly evolved into reviewing car people and now it is me literally rebuilding a car which is uh what a mess I'll tell you that it's pretty crazy but the series we started is doing pretty well I mean it really is doing pretty well in regards to uh performance here and if you guys were interested in the the progress of me rebuilding a car a literal car um which I didn't think I had the skills to do, then make sure to check out that second channel, which is linked down in the description below. Now, moving forward and looking at uh, what we've been tracking for the most part in today's video, uh, or in the past couple of days here, you can see we were watching what appears to be lots of the sideways consolidation, which is so much of a pain in the butt, if you ask me. It's just been days and days and days and days and days and days and days, if not going on two weeks now, of just flatline sideways movement. You can see, for the most part here, we've been tracking these kind of channels for a long time, but you can see, I believe it was yeah, here we go. 10 days ago was when we originally started this, which started even earlier. So we can say two weeks ago, but the sideways channel we've been watching kind of tried to break through it. Didn't didn't result in anything positive. And now we're continuing the sideways channel on XRP. And this is pretty much what we've been hanging out with and watching for a long time because it's been a total of 16 days. We're going on three weeks now of sideways consolidation. In regards to the current coin market cap, we are consolidating yet again up maybe one to 2% at max here. But for the most part, it's just resulted in kind of this flatline movement for nothing really seeing significant volume swings in any direction here. But during this consolidation, we are building up to something fairly large. I would think this consolidation usually results in a pump or a dump 
jump, as we know. Um, it's just which direction are we going to be moving to? Because it is a pain in the butt, if you ask me. The sideways consolidation always usually leads to some sort of, of, of significant movement. At least that's what I've seen in the years I've been in cryptocurrency. Sideways movement always results in a pump or a dump. And I know you guys probably agree with me by now, especially when volume has died off. Uncertainty is rising here. Sideways consolidation, you know, typically, you know, as a uh, looking at this in regards to a textbook formation here, it's very textbook. If we break above price ceiling above 48, 49 cents, we buy in long. If we break below 44, five cents, I think, this moving average here, then we buy in for a short, obviously doing so on BitFi, BitFi, sorry, I'm confusing it with BitYard, which was their rebrand or their name prior to rebranding to BitFi at the beginning of this year. But um, to BitFi here, which is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel, BitFi lets me buy long, it lets me sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits, even trade, you know, crypto that most of you probably didn't even realize um, was still on websites. BidFi has XRP to leverage trade, which is awesome, or just to trade in general, to buy, to sell, to do whatever you possibly want with XRP is really cool, which is why I like uh, BidFi so much. I've actually been telling them for years to put XRP on their website, and they finally did, which is exciting. So they have it here. Not only can you use um, XRP to leverage trade, buy long, sell short, you know, uh, whatever you want to do with the leverage here, but what I really like is they offer spot. I like to use their classic version and you can see here XRP for trade. So really what you can do, and you can see I have a little bit in here, but simply put, if you deposit, let's say USDT or Bitcoin, whatever, into the uh, into BidFi here, you can then convert it into USDT because everything is in a USDT pair. And then I could literally click buy and I could buy XRP and just hold on to it, which we've done a long time ago when we originally saw XRP break through our major purple downtrend there. When we broke at 38 cents, that was when we bought in long. Now we're all the, now we're all the way at 45 cents and we've even retested prices as high as 58 cents here. So we actually are up a fair bit of money in regards to long-term trading on XRP because of the fact that we've just bought on on a spot trade and are just holding on to it, which is really, really, really cool. So definitely make sure to check out BidFi down in the description below. There's a lot of really cool things offered um, for trade on here, especially because they offer spot. I just I just love using BidFi all around. I've been using them for years. As I said, they do have the bonus giveaway. Literally click the link in the description below, complete KYC, deposit 100 bucks, and fill out the form, which is also in the description down below, and you'll earn that. They even have welcome rewards, which lets you earn up to $2,888 completely free by completing some of the same steps that is needed to get the KYC. So it's like a double bonus, which is really cool. So make sure to check this out. Link is down in the description below. And now moving forward onto the other cryptos, looking at stuff like Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the S&P 500. You can see lots of consolidation yet again. Beautiful little bull trap here, but you can see that means that we are trying to break up. You know, we are trying to get bullish here. Even with the bull trap that we had, we still, you know, consolidated upwards here. And I really do believe we are going to continue this pattern to the upside here. I don't think we're ready yet to see a bearish reversal or a correction to the downside here. Is it possible? Of course. But, you know, the way these markets are moving, I think we are in an upwards trajectory. And I think we've proven that already um, to see these movements to the upside. Typically, though, truly, XRP is the main focal point here. This way the sideways consolidation is moving, it's just, it's the easiest technical indicator we have. Stuff like Ethereum and Bitcoin trending inside the side or the ascending triangle or fractal here um, makes things a lot more risky and make things a lot more difficult to buy long to sell short because we don't necessarily know what to do when we trade inside these channels here. Same thing goes with Bitcoin trading literally in the middle of this channel here. It's very difficult to figure out what exactly to do, which is why I'm kind of sitting out on this. Now, lastly, to wrap up you know, today's video with the S&P 500, this is looking bullish too. I honestly believe we might be continuing to pull to the upside here. If we look at Ethereum, we jump to like the weekly chart. You can see, yeah, we are nearing overbought, but we are retesting the moving average here. And you can see we have done this in the past where we did typically consolidate in the moving average here, but we do break bullish, you know, so, and it does lower ourselves. It's also interesting. We were near overbought. So we're in a very similar uh, movement here as we were back in 2019 here. You can see we retested it. It's the beginning. We finally broke out of the downtrend, the bear market, broke out of this too, consolidated, came back up to moving average, consolidated, came back up to moving average. First retest became near overbought. Exactly what's happening now. We consolidated again, very possible, then retested it again. And then we saw the breakout. So it's very possible we could consolidate under it. 
head back in and then break out into 2025, 2024, which is truly where I think the market's going to be moving to, 24, 25. And then we'll see that run to the upside here. So I'm excited overall. But yes, we may see more consolidation in this period because I do believe we are in like a kind of a, a four year, three cycle period, bull market, bear market consolidation. So bulls, bears, consolidation. You can see consolidation again. And then bulls, bears, consolidation again. And the next thing after this would be bull again, bear again. And you can see this is in like 24 here, which is exciting to me. So I think it's very cyclical. We have a kind of three stages inside a four-year movement here, which usually results in um, some fairly volatile movements here. But what I mean by this and the the point that I have to make is I think we're looking good long term here. Same thing with the S&P. I think long term, a lot of people are like, oh, we're ready for another dump. It's I mean, is it possible? Of course. But I just don't think the stock market is ready to see another dump. I'd be very shook if we saw another dump like you'd be beating a horse while it's down. It just doesn't make sense to see another dump like this. And, uh, you know, we are recovering in a very strange and peculiar way here, although even after retesting oversold. We have consolidated back up to like 56 in the RSI, but I just I'd be very shook if we fell again, you know, uh, especially after just recently having a drop in 2020 and another drop in 2019. Like to see another one is just you're really just beating a horse. You could see from 2016 to 2018, two years of just nice market. We had, you know, 2012 all the way to 2015 of nice market here. Nothing like a recession style, but to see another drop, which some people are expecting is just beyond me. I don't think it's possible. But with that all being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.